I'm up bright and early today. I'm going to show you how I prep for paint. Now, I was going to paint yesterday. I really had already prepped, but I'm gonna show you anyway. But uh, yesterday, it was like 15 mile an hour winds, so I really couldn't paint. And I got up bright and early this morning to beat the wind. And so I'm gonna do this real quick to show you what to do. And then we're gonna paint this thing. If you're getting any value out of any of these, would you hit the like button? Hit the subscribe. It'll make our channel grow, and I appreciate it. So, the first step, and I did this step with the skin off of the trailer. But I'm going to show you what I would do anyway and how I normally do it with the skin on. But this time, I just was being weird and said, I wonder if I could do this with the skin off, and I did. So, I take my sander, my orbital sander, and... I put a 220 grit on it. Now you could do a more aggressive grit if you've got some crazy paint on there. And I did have some spots like under the emblems where it didn't get the weather and it uh, was a lot harsher paint. It is still on there. But I've got a 220 on here because this one's pretty clean. It's got, a, I mean, there's, there's not much wrong with this metal. It's gonna come up real nice. So I'm just gonna take this, show you on a spot what I would do and uh, here we go. First thing, I'm gonna try and hit these little breaks in the metal. That's my first step, and that's what I just did. And then, I'm gonna to try to hit it on the raised surface. That's step number one. Now, once I get the skin put on, which this is already on, now I'm gonna take a, a I guess it's a scotch bright pad, the green. The different colors are harsher or less abrasive, just depends. I use the green, I get a bucket of water with dish soap in it. That's what I use, dish soap, use what you want. So I go to the spot, I do the whole trailer all at once, but. So I, I hit these the same way as I did with my sander. I hit the brakes in the metal first, then give it one of these. That's step number two. Step number three, I'm going to rinse it all down. I'm going to get the soap off of it, get the first layer of gray off of it. I'll show you why gray here in a minute. but. I'm not gonna do that in here because I'm in the shop, but I would do that. So then I take a washcloth of some sort and then just clean fresh water. Clean fresh water. And I'm gonna take that first layer off like this. Because once you sanded that, it is going to leave everything nice and gray. This was a white washcloth. Now it's gray. That's all that aluminum and dirt that we used on the sander. Then I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then I'm going to move on to step number four. Step number four is I want this thing to be very clean. And I like to use uh, white paper towels because then I can make sure that I've got all of the excess dirt or aluminum that didn't come off in steps one through three. So this one's a little bit wet, so I'm not gonna wet this down. Normally I would wet this down and do the whole trailer, but this is still wet, so I'm gonna do the same thing, the same area, just like this. There's still a little bit on there, but really not much, so this is gonna take off what we need taken off. So really for that whole side, we got a little bit, but we've got it gone. So we go over it one more time right here. Hardly any. 
hardly any. So now we got to let it dry. So normally I would just let it sit out in the sun, let the sun do its job, dry everything out, and then I'm going to tape it off. On this side of the trailer, there's really not much to tape off because I did not cut this window yet. The other side I cut the window, so I've got to tape that off. But down here, there's not going to be a hole there. We're just going to make a bridge to nowhere. So that doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be taped off. Same with this one, bridge to nowhere, but it's going to have something cool on the outside that used to go there anyway. Now down here, I cut city water in, gray water out, and that goes into the cabinet. So what I'm going to do with that is I take uh, our paper towels from earlier and just kind of wad it up in there. Now the city water in and the gray water in is going to cover out to here. So just as long as we're close, it's good enough. And I'll do the same thing down here for the gray water. That's taped off. Now this, I've already put the electric in, our 30 amp service. So uh, I've got to tape this off. That has to be taped off or else it's going to get painted and they're not gonna be the same color white. So I like to spend a little extra money and uh, get that uh, frog tape. Uh, they're not paying me anything, so I don't want you to think that it's an endorsement. It's not, but it just works really well. It works really well. So I use that, I tape the edges real good, and that's gonna keep that. Now, for the bigger windows, like these have really big windows in the front. Look at that, it's wall to wall. So I've got uh, some uh, cardboard, it's kind of thin. And so on the inside, I used some more for that tape, that green tape, and I taped it up real close to the edge. And now I can just spray, and you know, I'd be a little bit careful, but I don't have to worry because I've got that covered. I'm not gonna paint the interior by mistake. So I've gotta do that to the front window, the back window, this side window over here, and then the door because I took the door off because I'm gonna paint it separately and I've been working on the windows on it. So for right now, that is paint prep. Now I'm gonna get ready to paint it. Stay tuned. One thing I forgot to show you, and I wanna show you right now, we're obviously prepped for paint, and I put that, uh, I put some primer on already. But one cool way, I think, to keep your wheels paint-free, take an industrial-sized trash bag and put it on your wheels. And you can still use the trash bag when you're done. Just a little bonus feature for you right there.